Welcome back. So Monday is the start of Pisces season and here I am, of course, still in the process of becoming, getting my drag queen makeover. We are gonna keep going because at the end of the show, we're having a dance party and I am gonna be ready. But also here to tell us what means, what Pisces season means for everyone. With that sign, we have astrologer Jill Case. Thank you for being here. I underdressed and... You know, I did too. So far, just like the like from chin up, I'm, I'm looking ready to go, but... Yeah. From the neck down, I still need to like up my Friday night party game up. <laughs> so yes, Pisces season starts on Monday. Yes. Then there's a full moon on in Tuesday. Virgo on Tuesday. Yes. What does this all mean? So I, I'm kind of translating it to be, we all need some focused relaxation. Um, this, these times lately, have, how I've observed, has been everyone's kind of stressed, working a lot, feeling the pressure. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of kind of chaotic energy, a lot of shifts and changes. And I, you know, when all that comes, we tend to get stressed as individuals. And as we know, stress leads to all kinds of stuff that's never really good for us. And so um, this full moon is a great time to focus on what we can do daily to relax. Um, I love this segment before because this was all about, they were talking about compassion and love and creativity and you know things, things like that help us relax, help us feel connected to one another, help us kind of calm down. And so Pisces is a great season to really do that. Let yourself off the hook, take a big exhale, um, take this, those little bits of time that you can to relax. That's so great. So what would you recommend for people to do if they are like, okay, yeah, I, yeah. I get it. I get it that I'm stressed out. <laughs> yeah. I need to relax. But what do I do? Yeah. Besides so, go to besides. Know, drag brunch and you just well, you could. That's a great thing to do, yeah. I think. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, even just five minutes of deep breathing where you turn off your cell phone, you silence it, you take a moment to just like stop and breathe, take deeper breaths. You know, that's, that's a really simple thing. You can do that all throughout the day. Um, sometimes it's nice to make a list of the things that you're worrying and stressed about and kind of separate them into the things that you can't control that you have to just kind of push away and the things that you can make some maybe some steps that will help, sometimes that helps organize your thoughts. Um, you know, even just taking a walk outside, just going outside for some deep breaths, a walk around the block. Getting outside in nature is always helpful to relax. Um, do you think we can like go into our boss's office and be like, it is Pisces season, <laughs> we're all stressed, I'm gonna go take a walk for I 10 minutes, so. I will see you in a few. You can tell them that I, that I prescribed that. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> it is, it's a real prescription. It's a, it's a real prescription, right? Astrology is, is for real. <laughs> right, okay, so then, so there's also, there's Capricorn energy, Aquarian energy. Yeah. And we're gonna keep that Capricorn energy. So it's still a time where we're gonna be focused on our goals. It's still a time where, you know, there's gonna be some stress, but it's just, again, how we deal with it. And we'll have our most creative ways to deal with it. We'll have our most ability to handle it when we're relaxed, right? When we're feeling that ability to relax and let in some creativity, some inspiration. And, you know, when we relax, we, we, get, a, we get a little bit softer, right? We get a little bit more able to find compassion for each other and, and love and you know forgiveness for ourselves for not being perfect every day. I love that. Such yeah. a great message. Thank you so much, <laughs> Jill Case. You can find more, of course, at jillcasepdx.com. And we love having you on the show. So Thank hopefully, you. we'll have Always you on fun to be here. in a few weeks to talk about the next thing. Are you going to stay for the dance party? Absolutely. Because I you don't have to be party. dressed up to go to drag. That's right. Anyone can dance. Fun. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs>